let's talk about behavioral automations and why you need to start using them now and make sure they are activated. Stay with me. My name is Tarmila Vajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader here with eXp Realty. And it's so good to have you here. And if this is your first time coming to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on more content like this and head to that KB Core playlist and check out all the free videos that are available to you. And if you want to dive a little bit deeper, more strategy, I need a little bit more handholding and to check out into how to leverage KB Core at its full capacity and take advantage of the lead generation opportunities and nurturing available to you, make sure you head to the description below below and check out all the links. And if you want to partner with me and if you want me to help you make your life a little bit easier and 10x that business a little bit, check out the link below, partner with me, click on the link, happy to chat with you. And once again, if you have any question at all, as I go throughout this video, make sure you leave it in the comment section below, happy to answer them for you. Let's talk a little bit about behavioral automation. This is one of the most, one of my favorite tools within KV Core, it's super powerful. It is a shame that many agents don't know about it first or have a lot of assumptions about why it doesn't work. And I want to break those down for you here and show you really in a simplicity follow with me along as I show you exactly how to on them how it works and a little bit more information as to on the back end how you can make it work for you so once you log into KB Core and you go to the back end and click on the left hand menu right here called marketing you're gonna head to this page and as you can see here behavioral automation you can uh, head to it through here or you can come down here and you can click on right here behavioral automation so let's get started again let's talk a little bit about behavioral automation these are automatic communications these are think of it like this in a simplicity form the machine kb core this the system the software is doing a bit of work for you and it's kind of like i like to put it simply spying for you it's keeping a track of the people that are in your database, their behaviors, and, and then communicated, communicating to them according to their behaviors. And there's an examples of some of the behaviors that are available that are created here through Inside Real Estate, who's a parent company of KV Core. And you can see if a lead comes to your website within 14 days, the system says, hey, send out this email or text message. And it's so powerful and it tells you exactly who to send this to. And to me, this is, you cannot have it any better. The system doing the work for you of keeping track of that information. Imagine sitting in front of the computer, having to have that kind of knowledge, those insights that, you know, a lot of companies would pay a lot of money to get access to this kind of information. You get to have that in the fingertips and of a click of a button. And so let's go through this. And again, I wanted to just make a, a disclaimer please everyone's kb core is different and your business is different than mine so don't copy mine because i have lots of different reasons why mine looks the way it does um and i have isas i work with the team in order to do follow-ups for me i have different leads coming in leads sourced from ads i go to networking events a lot of my clients are investors so i work with people a little bit differently and even cold calling prospects so a little bit differently then some of you may and your business may look a little bit different than mine so of course as you can see i am taking advantage of this system uh, of this feature it is super powerful and like i mentioned it to you you know the system is doing the work of keeping track of these behaviors so let's take a talk a little bit about the statuses so Within KBQS, you can see it's broken into different categories actively so these are people who responded to a some sort of a message of yours and if they're in your database and still having a little bit of activity in there kb core is keeping a track and communicating with them so above and beyond let's say if you have a smart campaign that stops after they respond to you this is a great method to have on and a client is someone personally for me how i define them as someone who i'm probably showing a property at the moment, maybe have a listing appointment coming up with, they, they may or may not be on contract already, but someone who I've gotten to see and building a little bit more deeper relationship with. So I don't want any more communication going to them, especially because I'm working with them and I'm sending them properties, maybe more customized stuff, a little bit more deeper into that relationship closed. Obviously, as you know, you got that paycheck in your bank account. However, this doesn't mean your job is done. Your relationship with them is done. Remember, you can do a lot of things to engage with these people. Remember in the industry, they say every every client should in their lifetime bring you seven referrals so get those working and watch take out my course check out my master class to learn how to get those people working so contract and these are people that again on contract that again you you've gone that one step you've shown them the property now they're working with you so again i don't like to send them information or 
inundate their mailbox because I want them to see emails, important emails coming from me, the lawyers, the mortgage agent, et cetera. And new lead is someone who's coming directly into your database, sometime automatically, sometime through manual import. And they can be coming from ads, property boost ads, Facebook, Google. It can be anywhere, making a rain. I And then also even just through imports of you putting it in. So it's really important how they need to be engaged and who they are. And sometimes I do manual import of contacts or through landing pages and such, but they have a particular hashtag or something. And I sometimes make sure that they don't fall under a new lead. It's really important because they have different communications. Like I said, if they're coming from a networking event or something a little bit different where I want to have a different relationship with them and prospects are people, again, you know, you could use cold calling for or some sort of a prospecting method to bring them into your database. So again, you may engage with them a little bit differently. We do for sure. They, for us, again, people that we met through networking event, people we've done cold calling and door knocking. So again, we treat them a little bit differently. And Sphere, uh, you may or may not want to, to check on the behavior and communicate with them. I don't mind it because they kind of fall within to me under the whole new leads or active leads category. Um, unless I'm working with them a little bit closely. I, you, uh, Again, if you have a really good network and if you want to bring them into your database and take advantage of that sphere of influence, I highly recommend it. Tons of different strategies. Again, check to the description below and get those information. And so you can get more people into your database with consent. It's really important that you're not inundating people's uh, mailboxes without permission. And then archived are people that that you put away in your database that you haven't quite want to you want to kind of stop engaging with. So again, those people I kind of leave it to the side. Let's talk about behaviors. Um, you know, there are a couple that are available here uh, that that come with the system. So lead visits the website after 14 days who are looking at properties or they visit the website five times in the last week. They viewed five properties in the last day. Again, these are great insights. These are so amazing. The system is doing the work for you to gather these insights. These are what I called, you know, gathering activities. These kind of movements should motivate you, get you excited to be able to pick up that phone call, have a conversation and build those relationship because somebody's interested in something. These are giving you some sort of an indication they're excited. But remember, if you don't know this and if you're not sitting in front of the computer keeping track of every activity, how would you know that Joanne saw, you know, looked at five properties today unless you were counting them, right? And if you have a, a hefty or bigger, lar larger database, uh, an active database, maybe like mine or somebody else or, you know, some other producers um, that leverage KB Code, then it's going to be a little bit harder. And again, as your business grows and you're going to be on the road a lot showing properties and you're going to be meeting up with people, you won't have time to keep up with these kind of behaviors, which are so key because they say a lot, right? And a lead uh, viewed a property in the last week. They viewed a property three times. You know, they favored a property. Those are really key indicators. Maybe they're, you know, putting them, harding them, favoring them so they can show their partner, whatever it may be. Those are really key indicators that there's activity happening in your database. And yes, a lot of people ask me, am I allowed to edit these you know, these messages that are pre-written in, in, in the behavioral automation, absolutely you can. However, I wanna, I wanna kind of talk about this a little bit. You know, these go for my drip, the smart campaigns that are available through KB Core, any of the sequence that you see here, pre-written messages. And I always like to say this overarching, you know, and this is from my experience working with hundreds of real estate agents, training them, working with them sometime in trainings one-on-one -on -one or as a team. I'm I'm realizing more and more, you know, a lot of people, you know, 90, 80%, like a lot of real estate agents who are in this space who do not have, you know, don't have a marketing background, communications background, or they haven't been in the industry where they can make a judgment call on what communication works, what doesn't, what is best for their business, especially if you don't have, you haven't been in the business building relationship and what communications work for you. My recommendation is these, these default templates and, and, and messages and communication templates that are created by Inside Real Estate, the parent company of KB Code, these exist within the system work. They're made by professionals and these are marketers and trust the process and leverage them. And if you haven't used them before, um, I highly recommend you use them and then start to evaluate your business over time. A lot of agents tell me immediately, oh, I don't like that message because you're looking at it from your lens that if you were to get that, you might not like it. But again, 
you don't know that. Remember, yes, I understand that the client doesn't know if a machine is sending them this versus you. But at the same time, many people in my database are quote unquote strangers, right? Not everyone are prospects or people I've met or spoken to or even people in my sphere. These are people coming directly from ads. So they might not know how I speak, but to me, these messages work. They're intended as sales messages to get that relationship going and is to get more information. So I highly recommend, again, if you don't have that kind of background or experience or that judgment call that you can make, I recommend you leave the message. I know everybody wants to edit them, but use the message. So that's my, again, humble opinion, I should say. So a couple of things you want to uh, keep in mind is that, you know, when you can come here and preview the message, click to look at what they are, you know, what the subject of that email is the content within the the body of the email that your leads would get you can even click to edit here and this is where uh this is a little bit longer so i'm going to jump onto another space to show you this but again you can come here click the template which i'm going to show you how to do that you can create your own template come choose a template you know and and send it as you like or you can write it right here um, and save it um, that's something that is available to you if you want to and then also, oh, keep in mind as well, when you go to edit, it'll say here, note, the email will be sent if the text is unavailable. So make sure, just an FYI, if your lead did not give you a phone number, and many cases where they might not, and especially if you're leveraging a lot of different tools where you just want to get the lead into your database and you'll get the other information later, if you approach it that way, that's okay. Everyone's business is different. There's lots of pros and cons, and there's lots of opinions about this, and I can go into that in another video. But if you only have email addresses, that's what they're going to get. And if they have a phone number, they're going to get the text message first. So have a look at both and make sure you're happy with them. But again, only make that judgment call if you think you have the right experience too. So um, text messages, open up the preview, have a look at them. Like I mentioned, again, you can come here to edit, click on the templates, and then save and send uh, and save and, and and keep that going so again that's something that is available to you you can also come here and and use these messages however the way you to you edit them is actually you know before i jump into the editing i'm going to just quickly mention this so in behavioral automation there's another feature that you can activate you can on or on this or off this and I, I really like this on on an overarching level it pretty much kv core is saying hey if someone is a new lead or a prospect and they respond to any of your messages somehow, move them to, to an active lead stage because then they won't get any messages, but they'll get any of these behavioral changes. So I like that uh, because sometimes people respond to me and tell me, hey, I'm, I'm looking at this property or can you call me or leave me alone or unsubscribe, whatever it may be. I just need those information and I love when people reply and I love categorizing. It's all about and I'm telling you one of the most important thing about KV Core or CRMs in general is keep your database organized. And if you want to know how to do that, there's a couple of videos on my channel for free you can watch. I recommend you go watch them. It's be a game changer for your business. Trust me, I immediately saw uh, so much more and f uh, so much more of my business, not just increasing in income, but also just my activity in my business, just I me understanding it better so I can have better follow up. So better conversion, if that makes sense. So highly recommend you organize your database and what that even means. So let's quickly create a template. So let's go to marketing. So again, on the left hand menu, if you go to marketing and I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit faster and I speak a little bit faster, I get super excited about all of this thing. And this is just my passion, as you can see. And, and if you've been in my training, you've all seen this, but luckily for you, this is a YouTube video. You can always pause and rewatch. So if you go to marketing and you go to smart campaigns right here and you click on templates right up here, you can add a template. So in this case, if you want to create an email template, you can do that right here at templates you can name them however you like put in the subject and write it out again if you want to know exactly how to build out email templates strategies around that there's a few videos here on my channel and i even dive a little bit deeper into my courses so make sure you check that out in the description below and if you want to create a text template same thing you come here click text template you name your template so you can pull it up on that behavioral automation when you go to edit and you write in the content at templates super easy i know i just went through this super quick but now when you come back into your behavioral automation right here and you click on this and you go here, let's do this. So if you come here, look at this, I have some tests that I've done and, and they pull up and they change and then you can press save and send it away. Super easy, highly recommend that you 
take advantage of this amazing feature that is available through KB Core. And a lot of people make a lot of assumptions about what they think um, they understand about behavioral automations, and that is not it. This is the right information. Stay with me here and look at more of the videos here. Get your get your feet wet with KB Core. This is a robust platform. I know it looks intimidating, but it really isn't once you start to use it and get excited about this platform. Once again, if you want to get more information, get access to my course to get a full understanding of KB Core, how to leverage it, how to build your database, how to nurture, and, and to take proper advantage of some of the smart tools that are available within KB Core, visit the link below and, and check out my course. Check out my free masterclass where I dive deep into lots of different strategies of KB Core, how to understand how this, this robust platform works. And again, if you have any more information or questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. And lastly, if you are looking to partner with me and if you want to join my group here at EXP and if you want to see what I get to offer and what my group gets to offer, check it out. You'll be mind blown once you find out all the you get access to my free kb core course as well as kruby.social i have a social media platform that misses my business partner and i created where we give you social media posts done for you every single day i know game changer once you get to see the 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 list the, the the list the small but hefty list of of resources that you get to access mind blown so anyway i can sit here and talk about this for hours click on the links get to know me a little bit. And if you want to meet with me, chat with me about your business, happy to. Once again, my name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader. I'll see you next time.